I have an idea. How about you guys just let me go where I need to go and I won't kill you all. No deal? All right, I'll just kill you. It's more fun this way, trust me. You really should get into cover. Oh God, I might actually... Okay, I screwed that one up, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Black, sequel to the revolutionary Yellow and the somewhat disappointing Blue. Uh, but have you guys tried White? Let me just say that game blows away your expectations. All right, bad jokes, bad terrible jokes aside, out of my system. Um, Black here is actually a really interesting game. I'm actually quite excited for it. As you can see, this game is basically gun porn. Um, this is a first-person shooter by the same folks who did the Burnout series, which is a great series of games. Well, some of my favorite racing games ever, I think I can safely say. Um, this game is known to have stylized, cinematic-inspired action, but it's really known for its destructible environments and sort of burnout style of game. So, I mean, even in this sort of opening montage that we're watching here... Um, I feel like this really sort of captures what the game's going to be about. And honestly, I have never, ever, ever heard of this game. Didn't know it existed. Didn't know it was a thing. Saw the, saw the title Black in the 1001 Games book, and I was like, what the hell is this? Um, but that makes me excited, because it means we're going to get to try something new. So the stylized intro here is just continuing to, to enhance my curiosity. So I think, I think we got to jump in here, guys. I think there's, there's no more talking that will suffice. We got to actually play this game. Now, this game does make use of the sort of uh, Halo-esque two-weapon system, so the, a lot of the game is strategically deciding which, which weapons to hold, so there is some, some art to it. <laughs> God, Electronic Arts. The game's produced by Electronic Arts, and like, what, what can we say about EA at this point that hasn't been said already? Um, but, I mean, I, I still... Uh, this game is supposed to be quite good. Interesting thing about this game is, like, the, the story, obviously, is sort of told in these cutscenes between levels, but apparently the story was a total afterthought, which, honestly, I'm totally fine with. You know, like, there are some games that stand out as having a brilliant story. Um, there, there just are. And some games really are enhanced by their story, but I think too many games make a story out of a sense of obligation. Like, they feel, okay, why are we watching this? Like, can we skip this? No, this is an unskippable cutscene. All right. Just, just l like uh, lines of text appearing in the bottom left corner of the screen. I hope this entertains you guys. I'll try to entertain you with some chatting here. But I feel like too many video games feel like they need to be like, you know, um, God, what's that famous movie, Rosebud? Citizen Kane, Citizen Kane. Too many games are trying to be like Citizen Kane. Like, honestly, like in 90% of games, the story doesn't matter. So it's like you don't even, like, like what was Mario's story? He was a plumber who was trying to rescue a princess from a dragon. It didn't make any sense, right? And I think Mario was enhanced by that. It's like, I don't know, it's zany, it's weird. How, why is there a plumber trying to save a princess? It doesn't matter. You know, what was Pac-Man's backstory? Who cares, you know? <laughs> think, think of the games that you guys love to play. And I think for most of them, what you guys like the most is the playing. Not the, like, sitting around and dreaming of the backstory. Like, again, some games, not not every game, some games are enhanced by the backstory. Um, or, like, a subtle backstory is fine. But not every game needs to, again, be Citizen Kane. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, by the way, with the cutscene, but I guess I will skip over this, because this, this is ridiculous. Let me play the game. Oh, you know what? I think I know what happened. The batteries in my controller died. So maybe this is a skippable cutscene, but I can't do anything. All right, uh, let me get let me get better batteries here. Time out. All right, here we go. Start mission or options. Let's go into the options. See what we got to play with here. Controller setup. Let's see what my buttons actually are here. Oh, it doesn't tell you the controller. Oh yeah. Okay, hold on. Custom controller setup. What do we got going on here? Left trigger is grenade. White is next musical track. Okay, good to know. Primary fire. Black does nothing. Uh, why is the toggle suppressor? Melee. Oh, God. This is all messed up here. I Can I actually customize this? Yes, I can. So let me fix this. Okay, I think this makes a little more sense. X is to reload. A is to pick up weapon. B is grenade. And Y is melee. 
And then left trigger and right trigger are aim and fire. All right. Confirm. I have accepted. Customize controls. I like that I checked that out, actually, because the controls probably would have screwed me up a little. Um, I think first-person shooter controls really evolved around the time of the Xbox 360 and PS3, where, like, Call of Duty really popularized the aim down sights mechanic, so it was basically the double trigger. Left trigger aims, right trigger shoots. That has just become standard and burned into my brain. So whenever I play an older game and uh, it does not have that set up, it really kind of screws me up. I think in older games, pressing down on the right thumbstick used to aim, but that turned out to be a, a bad way of doing things. All right, primary and secondary objectives, normal amount of health packs, unlock silver weapons... No health packs. I don't like that. And this one is primary objectives only. Let's do normal. Let's try this game at a normal pace. I feel like I played enough first-person shooters in my day that I should do... I don't want to say good, but I shouldn't do horrible. So somewhere in the middle. Uh, let's see if we can skip this cutscene. Oh, we cannot! Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe my other controller hadn't run out of batteries. It was just literally an unskippable cutscene. Okay, so I guess I guess we just got to wait this out. Okay, so the backstory is something like some guy has a mess he wants to get cleaned up. Apparently, you're like a black ops guy. So the title black, it comes from you being like a black ops guy in Russia. And you're like just basically going off and doing some kind of like secret secret mission. So that's, that's basically it. Um, I wish we could just jump into the action, though, because, again, um, we get it. The, the cutscenes actually are kind of cool. They're, like, kind of interesting and stylized, and they got real actors and stuff. Um, but, again, you know, like, like I get it. He, he's some kind of, like, crazy badass. L l let me at him, chief. I I'm ready to go and uh, kill some dudes. Let's do it. All right. Was that an objective, by the way? Sitting through the cutscene. An objective. That was, like, several minutes, like, honestly. Um, all right, we're finally getting into the action. All right, here we go. This game actually, you know, for a, an original Xbox game, looks pretty good so far. Hold A to pick up the spaz. I will. Uh, how do we open the door? Do we just blast the door open like that? All right, you can carry... Wait, wait, wait what did that say? Assault rifle ammo picked up. Press down to use a stored health packs. Okay, hold A to swap. Okay. Hold, hold A to swap. Wait, how do I switch weapons? The spaz was picked up. Ah, there we go. Oh, we have a pistol. All right, I'm going to uh, swap the pistol for this thing. There we go. All right, so we have two different weapons that we can select. I've got it. Is this a bad guy? Let's just kill him anyway. I think he. I think he's bad. All right, he he was. I think. All right, so this game um, is known for its highly... Oh, God! <laughs> highly destructible environments. Notice how the screen blurs when you reload. As I say, this game is made by the folks who did... Uh, the folks who did uh, Burnout. And so they added their sort of, like, heavily stylized style. A stylized style. Think of, think of that. Uh, but they have a heavily stylized style. Oh, God, that guy's, like, possessed with bullets. The red ring indicates the direction you're being hit. Yeah, I can also figure that out by seeing the guy on my screen trying to hit me. Oh, we meleeed him to death. Yeah, there you go. First aid kit, grant instant health bonuses. Oh, man. So, yeah, this game, as I say, is sort of emphasized as, like, gun porn. Like, the guns are, like, highly detailed compared to, uh, compared to the characters on the screen. And... You know, like, you see, like, bullet shells flying out of my gun as I shoot. Like, thing, things just are... Uh, it, it's, like, it's like realistic, yet also uh, sort of, like, um, very stylized. I don't know. I, I don't know quite how to describe it. You guys are seeing it, though. And this is, this is basically, you know, like, what they were going for. Apparently, if you get to low health, the whole screen turns black and white, and the game goes into slow-mo, which is kind of cool. So there's bullet time, but only when you're about to die. Which is kind of neat, because it's like your character is about to die, and, like, sound suddenly gets more muted, and, you know, you're just sort of, like, you know, trying as hard as you possibly can to live, you know, uh, you, you go into bullet time. So I kind of want to get into low health, just to see that, so I'm, I'm playing a little sloppy right now, 
Uh, although sloppy good, because we are killing these guys. Kaboom! Oh, here we go. We're down to low health. Let's aim at these guys. Boom, 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 boom! Oh, there's a signpost in the way. The signpost saved his life. Okay, we're pretty low on life. The game has not gone into black and white yet, though. Okay, we only have two life pips left. I'm kind of paying attention. We get down to one. I will definitely uh, use a health pack. Oh, no, I just picked up health. All right, well, whatever. A new primary... There, this building, guys are just, like, running out of, so I'm assuming this is where the bad guys... Where we're going to find most of the bad guys to kill, right? Who, who goes there? You're dead now. Um, as, you know, like I was saying before we actually got into the gameplay here, I, I said, like, in the older shooters, they didn't really use aim down sights because that was not really a mechanic at the time. So when you aim, the screen just kind of, like, zooms in. Like, it's different than, like, modern aiming down sights. And obviously it's, like, honestly inferior, you know. Like, in modern times, they've they've refined the shooter with, like, in, in little ways. Um, I said way back when, when I played Brutal Doom, which is, like, a, just a modern... Uh, it's Doom, but it's been enhanced significantly over the years. They added aiming down sights in Brutal Doom and headshots and stuff, and it actually makes the game feel so modern it's crazy. So it's funny to play a game like this where it's like everything looks beautiful, it's in 3D, there's, there's, everything looks so like visceral and, and feels so rugged and the, the guns sound great and the environment's exploding and stuff. Yet because it doesn't have aiming down sights, it feels like dated. And, and it just does. It's kind of interesting. Interesting how that works. Um, I'm just gonna keep going this way. Oh, there's guys in the window, eh? Well, how about we just shoot them right out of that window? And this gun has crazy range. I, I kind of want to get like a sniper rifle or something like that. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, anyone there? Hey, dickhead! Get out here! We gotta talk like an action star, guys. Hey, jerk! Oh, we just clobbered him to death. Let's try throwing a grenade. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> I think we threw a grenade at that car, and that guy tried to use it as cover, and the car blew up as he got there. Pretty hilarious. I, I'm an unintentional action star. Also, my guy seems to, like, not know about cover. He's, like, not interested in it at all. He's like, I'm just going to walk forward, gutting everyone down because I'm freaking invincible. Like, this is crazy. Oh, my God. That guy took so many bullets. If this was, like, Uncharted or Gears of War or something, my guy would be so dead. Because he is, like, not taking any cover at all. But, I mean, I seem to be picking up enough health to make this work. I have not used a health pack yet. I just keep surviving somehow. Imagine this was, like, even, even like, uh, you know, Counter-Strike or something. I'd be so dead. Oh, God. Use a health pack. Die. Maybe it's when you only have like one health bar left it goes into slow mo mode. Slow mo mode. That's that's funny. Say that five times fast. Slow mo mode, slow mo mode, slow mo mode. <laughs> Weird tongue twister. Uh we passed the level. I, I didn't even re realize. I, I didn't know what was our objective there. We were just kinda like killing indiscriminately. I mean that's my kind of level, don't get me wrong, but uh uh, I, I'm sure in the background they were like barking orders at me. They're like, no, you got to kill the Slovenkos. They're like, what are you doing? Oh, make sure you get to the Chechens. And they're like telling me where to go and who everyone was. And I'm just like, I'm killing people. It's fun. This is great. Oh, we get to name ourselves now. <laughs> Son, you've earned a name. We were so impressed by your performance in that last mission that now you've earned. We're going to call you by a human name. Pick one. We'll just be Keller J. Why not? Um, go ahead. You can call me Keller J. The J stands for J. Gaming J, actually. Uh, coincidentally. So it's a... What, what happenstance was there uh, to have the right initial? Uh, what, what, what else was in... So in old games, you also did not... You could only carry... Or no, in old games, you could carry as many guns as you wanted. So this, so this game, as I say, sort of takes after Halo, where you have like two weapons, and you have to strategically choose... You know what, uh, whoops, no wait, that's not what I want. I want the next level. You have to strategically choose what weapons you want to use. Oh god, another cutscene. Oh my god, you can't skip these! This is actually the worst part of the game, I, I will tell you that much. 
But uh, anyway, in games like Doom and stuff, you know, you would, your guy would just be walking around with, like, every weapon he has ever found. You know, he'd have, like, a BFG, a rocket launcher, a plasma, machine gun. He'd have a chain gun, a shotgun, double shotgun, chainsaw. I imagine monsters looking at him. He'd just be, like, weapons would just be dangling off of him. He'd be, he'd be kind of terrifying, a guy walking around with that much firepower, but... Um, Anyway, I, I'm going to skip this because, you know, more cutscene. Uh, let, let's get back to the game here. All right. Complete all your objectives. Apparently, if you beat this game, you unlock, like, infinite ammo mode, and you unlock the ability to start any level with... Uh, oh, this is interesting. Where This is a stealth mission. Can we destroyed this thing. Oh, we've blown our cover. <laughs> no more stealth. Woo! That was fun, though. Um, but apparently, yes, if you beat this game, uh, you, like, unlock all sorts of crazy stuff. Like, on easy, you'll start with a machine gun that has a secondary fire of, like, a grenade launcher on the bottom, and you have infinite ammo, and... Um, oh, that was fun. Uh, what else do you unlock? There's something else you unlock. Infinite grenades, which we have not been using, so it's not like we would notice. Here, let's throw a grenade at this guy. Oh, we don't have any. All right, let's riddle him with bullets instead. Yeah, that's what you get, buddy. Oh, he has an AK-47. Wait, where is it? Yeah, we'll take his AK-47. But I am having fun with this James Bond gun, so we're going to stick with it. I feel like I'm playing Goldeneye again, guys. Back in the N64 days. I'm odd job. Become the odd job. Um, yeah, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, infinite ammo and stuff. Apparently, also, when you unlock all that stuff, there's no way to turn it off. So you just have to, like, start a new profile. I think we headshotted that guy. Can we do headshots in this? Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a log. Wait, somebody's shooting. Hey, you. Get over here and let us shoot you in the face. Oh, you, we, I think we did headshot him. Okay, so the game has headshots. Let's, uh, let's intentionally try and shoot people in the head. What is this? Shotguns? Eh, we should try the shotgun, you know? Maybe... There, there's, like, some guy riddling this area with bullets. I'm, like, barely paying attention. All right, where are you? I'll kill you. I'll bite. You guys want to die? I'll kill you. Where are you? Come here. You too? So much for my stealth mission, I eh? Like, they send me in with, like, a silencer and stuff, and I'm unloading with, like, you know, some high-powered close-range shotgun. Hey, someone was living in this cave. They have sleeping bags, medical supplies... No food. Oh, those are backpacks. This is people who are interested in hiking. They had a healthy a healthy hiking life. Go on hiking adventures in the Russian military occupied woods. Uh, well, I guess you would need medical supplies if that's where you like to hike. I'm going to go ahead and uh It is kind of cool how the screen blurs when you reload gonna reload here how about see this is how little respect i have for the enemy i'm like reloading in front of them while they're like shooting at me trying to kill me they're terrified i'm just like i'm gonna reload my gun that that's like the true insult to your enemy that showing them that you do not fear them that that just screws with them mentally because it'd be like oh my god he, he's not human he's not human he's not scared of death death does, how can you kill that which does not fear death i think that was a headshot Yep. <laughs> yeah. uh, we don't need the AK-47. I feel like the uh, the handgun is like just as good, if not better. It's like a more precision-based weapon, and I don't mind having to be precise. This game has uh, f fairly forgiving hitboxes, it seems, because I totally didn't headshot that last guy. I was like a mile off, but it like accepted it. Like, watch, we'll headshot that guy. Oh, we we've missed. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, maybe maybe, maybe I made a mistake by not taking the AK-47. Maybe it could have been handy. Oh, I'm crouching. Okay, that's not what I want. Okay, we need to obviously get in that base, but there's too many guys. All right, they're, like, coming out of the woodworks here. Let's kill these guys. Huh! Oh, we broke his spine and his heart. Kill this guy. Riddle him with bullets. This guy's trying to flee. He's like, no, please, I have children. Oh, look. Oh. Papa loves you! Oh, he got away. All right, go back to your children. Tell them you met death himself, and he let you go. Now, we have no grenades, by the way. 
I, uh, I'm looking at our HUD in the top right. Oh, there he is! You should have gone back to your children! <laughs> He's like, maybe I could kill them and Papa would be a hero. Instead, he was murdered by me. There we go. There we go. I, I, I still like this gun better than the AK-47, I will say. It's like, it feels more like I'm killing each guy. I like the precision shooting. Is that guy dead yet? We do have a med pack, but I don't feel the need to use it yet. Maybe I, maybe I, my tune will change soon. Can I even hit this guy? Oh, I did! <laughs> and he fell off the guard tower. Oh, but I'm like totally out of bullets. All right, where's where's your AK-47? Um, there we go. All right, fine. They want us to use high-powered machine gun weaponry. Let's do it, I guess. Let's just start blowing up their base. Fear and intimidation. It's a big part of war, guys. Look it up. We have to be... We have to basically... Okay, it's one guy invading a whole base. We gotta make them think that there's like 50. Like, we have to leave a trail of bodies and explosions so intense that there's no way... The enemy soldiers would believe it's one guy, and so they start to get nervous and they get sloppy. That's the key to these one-man incursions. It's a psychological game more than anything else. Oh! I didn't know that was explosive. There was a guy hiding behind that. Okay, I'm gonna use health back. Riddle this guy with bullets. There we go. Who else? This guy's in his house enjoying some tea! And then I murdered him. I'm going to run into his house though. Oh, what's this guy doing in here? Oh, he's getting killed is what he's doing. Wait, where'd he go? Wait, where did he go? He just disappeared! Wait, did he run out? That's crazy. What's in this safe? Anything fun? Nothing. Alright. I have an idea, guys. How about you guys just let me go where I need to go and I won't kill you all. No deal? Alright, I'll just kill ya! It's more fun this way, trust me. Ow, ow. I'm... Okay, so level one, obviously, you don't need cover. But it does seem like in the higher levels, you really should... Oh, God, I'm about to die. You really should get into cover. Oh, God, I might actually... Okay, I screwed that one up, guys. My bad. My bad. Do we restart from the beginning? All checkpoints will be lost. Do you sure want to restart the mission? No. Mission failed. Oh, there's... But... <laughs> so my options are quit or restart. There's no continue. Um, okay. Well, you know, we learned something, and that's that you can't just run into a war zone willy-nilly. And that being too nonchalant about combat at a certain point is not good. So, okay, so this time around... Hey, by the way, we can actually choose to take off the silencer. If we, like, don't even care about getting caught. I'm going to put the silencer back on. Alright, so we do need to exercise, you know, some effort to not get killed so we will do that this time around let's kill this guy Jeez, there we go um should i go with the ak-47 i guess i should oh whoa, whoa, whoa hold on let's kill this guy there we go um we will take the ak-47 and i didn't I only need the AK-47 when I get to the base, so let's do this strategically. We're going to work our way towards the base. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. It'd be nice to have a radar or a heads-up display or something. Oh, just beat this guy to death. Oh, he ran away! Oh, we killed him. Get over here. Alright, so this was the medical pack. These medical packs are quite useful. Suppressor. Oh, we have a suppressor for the AK-47? Oh my god. Oh, okay, I do want to try this. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if you guys have ever heard suppressors in real life or seen them, but they actually do not totally silence a gun. It's like a Hollywood myth that a gun that goes bang, 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 bang. You put a piece of metal on the end, it goes beep, 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 beep. It, it, a gun is loud no matter what. Um, I don't actually know how much quieter suppressors make guns, but it's it's not it's not anything like in the movies where like you wouldn't be detected or something like that. Like they would still know a gun's being fired. Um but nonetheless I am kinda curious 
what it's going to be like to shoot a, a AK-47 with a silencer. Oh, this guy's getting a headshot. Okay, he survived somehow. Multiple bullet wounds. Jesus. Okay. Oh my god, he's still alive. I have the aim of a stormtrooper. I was trained by the Emperor. Not to kill, but to love. Which was actually a terrible idea. They should have trained me to kill. Why did they train me to love? I'm so good at loving and so bad at killing. Every stormtrooper that was ever in existence. Yeah, kill these two guys. These guys are out for a casual stroll. Best friends. Best friends do everything together, including die together. You pigs. I don't know what these guys... I don't know what, what their political affiliations were, or their likes or dislikes, but I hate them. I hate everything about them. I hate everything about you, buddy! Because you are the enemy, and I kill the enemy. I don't know what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm just sort of, like, rambling. Look at what war has done to me, guys. It's taken your regular, thoughtful, caring gaming Jay and turned him to, into some kind of, like, murder machine. Some kind of violence-enjoying animal. Oh, another... Wait, this is not the same... Oh, there's two caves? All right. Well, I just got two health packs. So I think we're doing better than last time. So I'm feeling good about this. I wish there was a way to run or jump. You know, like when you have to walk long distances in these first person shooters, oftentimes it's more fun to jump. Even if jumping doesn't make it any faster, just because I, like, I don't even know why. I don't even know. I've often thought that as they design AI to like like bots and stuff to play against people, the to the the moment I will think that a bot has gotten like creepily intelligent is when it does the stupid things that humans do when we get impatient in games like when it's jumping even though jumping does absolutely nothing just because it's impatient or you know like sometimes you're playing like card games and stuff and you're just like clicking randomly on the screen just cut just to hear like the little sound effect for when you click just because you're bored and you're like waiting for the next screen to load like Humans do all those kinds of weird things. When AIs do that, that will be crazy. I don't know if AIs ever will, because from an AI's perspective, it's like, what benefit does it get from doing a jump if it doesn't speed you up? It's a wasted action. But I don't know why, but humans do it. So I think one day they'll probably have AIs that get impatient, and then that will be like, well, like these things are really thinking. But until then, they're just really efficient calculators. All right, I don't know where I am or where I need to go. Oh, there's a guy. Okay, we're missing, missing, missing. Most of those bullets missed, but enough connected that we actually killed them. All right, here's here's the base. Can we, like... Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. I don't want to give the game away. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's do some recon work, guys. Be smart about this. Right, find the Trenesca border crossing. That was what we did. Cross the border. Okay, all we have to do... Just cross the border. I don't think we're carrying any fruits or animals. So really this should actually be a no-brainer. They should just let us through. But at the same time, these guys do not seem like the most understanding. Is there a giant hole in their fence? No, there is not. It looked like kind of there was a hole in their fence. Now let's just kill this guy. Okay, we've set off the border security alarm. When you hear a giant alarm like that in a movie or video game, you know you've screwed up. You know you've done messed up. Okay, we'll kill this guy too. Uh-oh, we're, 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 we're kind of getting surrounded. Okay, new plan. Let's go back to the bridge like we did, just like we did it last time. Hiding under the bridge scene work well. My guy is moving so slow, but no one can seem to hit me. Um, for the developers of Burnout, they actually didn't include a lot of speed in this game. Again, the ability to run would be so nice. I guess first-person shooters back in this era, not only did they not use aim down sights, but they also really didn't have many run mechanics. They're like, running? Why would a character in a, in a game about guns ever feel the need to run? A slow casual pace is more, more efficient, easier on the knees. Meanwhile, it's like people are like literally trying to kill me. It would be nice if my guy could pick up the pace a bit, is all I'm saying. Um, we found another med pack, though, so I'm going to take it. Right, I'm getting shot at from somewhere. But where? Let's blow up this thing. Teach them a lesson about storing their fuel in obvious places. Okay, I don't think we were doing any damage there. 
Hello. Riddled with bullets. There's guys up there. Oh god. I again we're just stupidly taking damage. Oh hello. Kill this guy. It's like I find it like oddly hard to aim. Oh my god. Oh my god. That guy almost killed us. Like look at this. The guy's like right there. I like barely can hit him. Alright. Killed him. Blow that up! To scare that guy in the tower. Psychological, remember? It's half about intimidation. Oof. Jeez. Oh, there's more guys. Maybe we should be playing this on easy. Like, I thought normal. No problem. Oh, that was a headshot. All right, I'll take it. thought no problem. We can, Certainly we can play this on normal. But now I'm kind of feeling like not super confident. Like I made a mistake. Anyway. So any let, let's just let's just pretend to be the the toll booth operator. Can we like open and lower this gate? Start taking tolls, asking people for their passports. He killed everyone at our border, but then instead of proceeding, he just basically manned our border for about six hours. Did a good shift, good hard shift of uh, work. Okay, we're gonna run into a building here. Out of my way! I need to go in your building. Jeez, is this guy still alive? Can you die already? <laughs> All right. He's dead. We killed one guy. 39 to go. Oh my god. I don't think they're messing around anymore. They're like blowing apart the wall. What are they shooting at me? It's like a tank. They sent a tank after me. Jesus. The building's like exploding. I think they're killing each other out there. It's my theory. How did that guy survive, like, ex all the explosions and stuff that have, like, riddled this compound? All right, there you go. You're dead. All right, one at a time. Let's kill these, kill these jerks. Oh, God. Health back. How am I constantly so close to dying? Can I blow these up? Yeah, I can. I think I killed a guy. Okay. Let's blow this up and kill this guy. I think the strategy of shooting guys individually... Is not necessarily rewarded in this game. They want you to blow up the environment. This is like an environmental shooter game. So, like, we'll take them up on that offer. Alright, I think I killed that guy possibly, or I definitely didn't. One or one or the other. You know what we need is precision. This is a job for James Bond sniper gun number three. Almost. Oh, there's a guy up there. I see. Oh my god, how's he still alive? Die! Oh, he died and jumped off the roof. I think he knew he was dying and he was like, I want one last thrill! And jumped off the roof. I mean, it makes sense. If you know you're dying, why not go out the fun way? You're like, I've taken so many bullets, I'll never cure this. I'm gonna jump off the edge! Huzzah! You'll have fun all the way until the end. And you'll hit the ground and, uh, well, it'll all be over, so what does it matter? Let's blow this thing up. Kaboom! That blew up the whole house. Anyone left? Look, I just want to cross the border. Can I speak to someone? I know I don't have a passport, but surely I'm not worth this kind of trouble. There we go. Killed this guy. Who blew up this truck? I don't know if we can. We can shoot him in the feet. Death by bullets to the feet. We're going to really mess up his foot. We're going to mess up his foot so bad that he's going to die. He's really my good foot. I can't go on. I'm dead. Okay, we're going to go in here and hide. Things are getting crazy out there. Oh, and there's a guy in here. Some dick who decided to hide in the rafters. He does not have a medical pack. Didn't these guys used to carry medical packs sometimes? What happened, man? Oh, we're almost through the border, by the way. There we go. Got that guy. It's like one more way over there. I should investigate some of the bodies of the guys I've killed. Because they might have health. Oh, man, I'm so close to dying. Oh, there's a medical pack in there. 
Okay, I'm going to use my medical pack, and then I'm going to go in for this one. Oh, there's a guy in here. Die! Ooh, and he had health, which we didn't need. Oh, there's a guy in here. Good, die. Oh, he's still alive. Beat him to death with the butt of my rifle. Okay, anyone left? Anyone left? I can't tell. Oof. We, we blew the hell out of this building, didn't we? Oh, health. Okay, when I need health, I can go back for that. Noted. Right, where are the bad guys? See, this is where, like, having a radar would be helpful. Kaboom! If you're in that building, I'm sorry, but you probably were trying to kill me, so sorry, not sorry. Oh, there's a guy. Let's just blow up this. Kaboom! Kill this guy up here. Is he still alive or is he dead? I can't tell. I think he... I, I heard, like, glass shattering and stuff. I'm pretty sure he fell to his death. Get the health. Feeling good. Feeling good and healthy here. I like how when you... The idea is, like, you find a med pack and you use it instantly. So it's like... He's, like, you know, riddled with bullets. And he like, he's, like, slapping bandages on liberally. He's like, don't worry, I'm healthy. I'm going to survive this. Takes more bullets, just puts on more bandages. He's like, yeah, I'm still alive, I guess. I think he's lying to himself. I think every action hero in these video games... I don't think... I don't know what kind of med pack you could apply. that just totally reverses bullet damage. But I'm pretty sure there's some kind of recovery time for that. Oh, we crossed the border! Oh my god. But there's guys on the other side of the border that want to kill us. I should not be surprised. Everywhere I go, dudes want to kill me. It's like the story of my life. Somebody is firing bazookas. Oh. Better not be you. It definitely isn't. Oh my god. Who is firing bazookas? Is it you? Oh god, that was a bazooka coming right at me. Alright, buddy. Two can play this game. I'll fire bullets at you. Oh, jeez. Okay, that one went a little high. Learn to aim. Pro tip. All right, we crossed the border. Like any good border, it was guarded by a single soldier carrying a friggin' bazooka. Cross the Valdnik Channel. But where is his bazooka? I want it. I don't see it. Am I missing something here? Wait, how do I... I don't have a flashlight or anything, do I? This game is getting a little dark, in that it's hard to see what it, what's, what's going on. Alright, kill that guy. That punk. Oh, we'll kill this punk too! I don't know how I got up on this catwalk. I actually would like to come down because there's medical supplies and stuff there. Oh, we can. There we go. Um, Alright, we're going to keep going this way. I think. Go through here, running through the fire. Hey, we did it! Checkpoint reached. Oh, bad guys, though. Why is there- why- why- why is my life a never-ending series of dudes trying to kill me? What did I ever do to dudes? Again, like, no matter what game I play, dudes just have it out for me. I don't know what I did in life, guys, but dudes are not my friend. Oh, we- oh, that was so easy! The previous mission where it was like cross the border was like a death trap. This was like cross the canal. It's like, yeah, and you're through. There's there's a single guy. Not armed with a bazooka. His name is Ted. He has self-esteem issues. Trust me, you'd be putting him you'd be doing a fa him a favor by putting him out of his misery. There we go. Alright, now what? I'm just wandering in the woods again, I think. I feel kind of lost. <laughs> <laughs> I think my guy's the one on the radio who's like saying things. I'm not really like paying attention though, to be honest. Um, as I said, like the the story for this game was a bit of an afterthought. Actually, did I say that? I don't know if I said. It. If I hadn't said it, haven't said it yet in the video. Um, yeah, the story for this game was a bit of an afterthought. The developers like made the game first, and they were like, "We'll figure out the story later." Which honestly. 
I, as, as I say, I am more in favor of that than the other way around. I mean, sometimes you can come up with a story first and build a good game around it. But I think if you don't have a good game, I mean, like good gameplay, you might as well have just made a, a movie, you know? Like, make, make, make your story into a good movie. But, like, games need to have some kind of, like, fun gameplay mechanic. Hence why they're games, right? I mean, it's games 101, really. Okay, I don't like this because I have no cover out here. And there's just a lot of guys. Let's just throw grenades at them. Why not? Kaboom! Kaboom! Oh! A body, like, flew at me. Guess that means the grenade was effective. God. I'm, like, walking past guys. I find it, like, a little hard to actually see where dudes are in this. The bad guys, whatever you want to call them. Bad dudes. Hence the name of the old classic NES game. Oh, hello, dude. Jesus, that took me, like, a whole clip. Most of those bullets were, like, just flying past him one way or the other. You know, if anyone's going to give these bad guys a chance, apparently it's me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Health pack. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't believe this is, like, level two and we're, like, having trouble passing it. Oh, I think a guy screamed his way to his own death. So I think we killed him. Oh, there's a guy. That That is a guy. I like, couldn't tell him. Like, is that a leaf blowing in the wind? No, it's a guy. Fully armed adult soldier. Come to kill me. Oh my god, a guy did... I, like, look, I just walked past a guy. He, they have to literally run in front of me. They're like, uh, hello. Guy who wants to kill you. Don't forget about me, please. Oh my god. They're, at least they're dropping health packs, though. I think I can make it through this. The first level gave me a false sense of security, I'll tell you that much. I was like, oh, this game's a breeze. You don't need, you, you don't need cover, you just walk around blowing everyone up. So easy. Meanwhile, on level two here, I'm like, cover, cover, for the love of God. Don't walk out into the killing fields. It's a death trap out there. Jeez, die already. And drop that sweet, sweet medical pack. I need it. Papa needs his medicine. There we go. Yeah, up here too, right? Maybe if I could aim, this game would be better. <laughs> like, okay, let's actually try and aim at this guy. There we go. All right, uh, I, I've discovered something. Aiming makes the game easier. Oh, God. Oh, the truck I was beside exploded. Hey, we can continue the mission. I was going to say, I'm not going to play it from the beginning again. Oh, we're back here. Okay. One one more time, I think. One more time. I, I wanted to go through, like, a couple of levels, but we're on, like, level two, and it's, like, taking forever. I have a, I think this will... I, I want to see what level three is, but, um, you know, I, I given how given how we're doing on this level, I surprisingly don't think we're making it to far past level three. You know what we will do, though, is maybe the next level we'll just load it up on easy. Just so we can uh, go through it casually, not have to worry about uh, dying or anything. Alright, let's break this guy's back. I've never done like a back melee attack. Usually in most games, it's like an insta kill. Huh! Yeah, it was an insta kill. But he didn't like pull out a knife or do any fancy move or anything. Just sort of lazily punched him to death. Which is fair enough, I guess. Alright, let's try and find, like, a vantage point and, like, see what we're getting ourselves into. Maybe that's the, the key. Oh, there's a guy here. We'll, uh, just punch him in the back, too. Stealth style. Boom. Oh, and a medical pack. First aid pack. A laptop computer. Toshiba! Oh my god, a Toshiba com laptop! I'm more interested in that. Put that in my backpack. I can, uh, install retro games on. It'll be great. Alright, so that's what we gotta cross. Now, is there any point in going this way, I wonder? I do like how there's, like, separate paths and stuff in the levels, but I have no idea, like, which is an which way is an effective way to go. I feel like this is bad. I'm going under the... I'm going under the bridge that I need to be on, so this is not going to lead me where I need to go. If anything, I'm just going to get noticed, and they're going to shoot at me as I try and get actually on the bridge. Um, this would be a good jogging trail, though. You know, if it wasn't 
occupied by a bunch of gun-toting soldiers, I guess. Eh, let's go this way, I guess. All right, what do we got up here? Anything? Ooh, box of grenades. Actually, that will be useful. I think I've been spotted. Okay, there's like a crazy alarm going off. Oh, more grenades. Take them. Alright. Remember, remember what we learned last time. Aiming is the key. The key to doing well this game is to aim. Let's not hide behind anything that's explodable, though. God. Riddle this guy. Riddle this guy. Oh, God. Use, use a health pack. Oh, God. Punch that guy to death. Riddle this guy. Okay. We, we've kind of... Let's make sure no one comes up behind me. There we go. Oh! <laughs> that was a really poorly thrown grenade. Oh, there's a guy did come up behind me. See? You think I'm crazy for trying to worry about these things. All right. We grenaded him right at his feet. Oh, that dick. He ran away from it. I mean, it's very smart of him to do, but still, it's kind of annoying. I went to all the trouble of throwing a grenade at you, and you ran away from it. How dare you? All right, let's pick up his ammo. All right, things seem fairly quiet. That's pretty good. The trick is we need to not stand beside a truck that's about to explode. That was also something we learned from last time not to do. Pick up this health pack. Oh. Dick. Dick. Oh, where'd he go? That guy took away all my health. I was busy reloading. I couldn't even shoot at him. All right, fine. Here, have a grenade. Granada. Yeah, there you go. Stupid Chechians or whatever the heck you guys are. Whatever nationality you are defends me. All right, killing that guy. All right, what do we got? Oh, that stupid guard tower. Guys in the guard tower are actually kind of annoying. Oh, I killed them, though. All right, well, they're less annoying when they're dead. Ooh, health pack. There's another guy. Kill him. There we go. I'm like, die already. Jeez. How many bullets can these guys take? It's pretty impressive, actually. They're, like, standing up to, like, several assault ref rifle sound, uh, rounds. All right, we killed his buddy. He's like, no, Jerry! You killed Jerry! I will kill you! It's all a trap. Just to lure him into the outside and kill him and then blow up his house! Kaboom! Oh, man, why didn't I do that? I also need to remember that environmental kills are really encouraged in this game. Oh my god, more health. Oh my god, more grenades. Okay, if we fail this mission now, it's just embarrassing. We crossed the channel. RV with McCarver. Find the farm. Okay, we need to go on an RV road trip and uh, visit a farm. Probably for do some late apple picking, is my guess. Although this does not seem like the apple picking season. There's a lot more war going on than is typical. Oh, look at this. Trenches. Other people have been here. Having separate wars, I think. Or maybe doing paintball on the weekends. Maybe this is like an abandoned paintball course. It's been taken over by, like, angry soldiers. Okay. Oh, is that a guy? What is that? Is that a human? What is that? It's a dude. Okay, headshot. We got him. Oh, and the other guy didn't even notice. Okay. Headshot. Okay, I think he no he he's noticing. He was noticing bullets were hitting him in the face. He was like, ah, a bee is stinging me or something? I don't know. These might be bullets. We might we might be under attack. Also, those kids might be back for their paintball course. Kaboom! Oh, yeah! Alright, you want some too? Here's a pro tip. Don't don't hide behind explosive canisters, dicks! 
Oh, we, we look, we have excessive medical supplies at this stage. It's pretty good, actually. So I don't know what to do. I mean, I guess we just leave it. We'll come back if we get injured, but... Oh, we know we find, found an abandoned mine. Abandoned gold mine or something like that. Anyone hanging around here? Anyone feel like getting murdered? No? Alright. Where's this farm, by the way? No idea. Checkpoint reached. Oh, is that a bad guy? Is that a good guy or a bad guy? I think it's a bad guy. Oh, he's got some kind of body armor. Whoa, what the heck was that, man? Some guy just showed up out of nowhere with a shotgun and body armor. Had to blow him up with a grenade. I do not want the shotgun. The shotgun's like a close-range weapon, but I feel like... None of these guys are getting that close. Oh my god, oh my god. What is going on? There we go. Grenades seem to make short work of these guys. These are like shock troopers or something. Maybe a grenade, or maybe a shotgun is what I want in these scenarios here. Alright, look. I have no beef with you soldiers. I'm just looking for an RV. It's uh, what my mission dictates for some reason. Oh, look at this. Oh, two guys. Can we headshot both of them? Boom. Now, he's hearing the bullets going over his head, but he wasn't sure what was happening until it was too late. And then this guy. This guy was taking time aiming. Kaboom! There we go. We found, we found the joy of killing again, guys. I lost it briefly there at the border. But uh, I found it again. Okay, what do we got going on here? This, this, all this terrain looks the same, by the way. It's really hard to like know where you're going. Again, you know what? Not even I. I don't even want a mini map or radar necessarily, but just give me a compass that points north. That that would be something at least, so I could orient myself. Let's grenade these guys. I don't feel like fighting them. Too lazy. Oh, what? How did two of them survive? How does a grenade go off next to three guys who are standing side by side and kill only one and the other two seem unharmed? That is like... That's... Like, that is the most luckiest or unluckiest grenade ever, I think. Kaboom. Kill this guy. I'm getting better at killing, but also lazier. I'm like, ah, I don't even feel like riddling your corpse with bullets. Let me just punch you dead. Hey, we found the farm! On the farm. What kind of farm is this? Chicken farm, cow farm, milk farm. I guess a cow farm is a milk farm. Well, it depends what you're doing. You're milking them or eating them. I guess it could be a beef farm. Not a bee farm, but a beef beef farm. Search the farm building. Which one? There's many farm. Define farm building. I would say first. What am I looking for? What's, whoa, God, this farm is not in good shape, guys. Nobody, nobody's getting beef or, or milk from a farm like this. There's a nice cozy fire to warm up next to. Okay, anything of interest here? I see very little. Very little that would draw me in. Let's just walk through this hole in the wall. Hey, you got a hole in the wall. You might want to fix that. Okay, that building revealed nothing. Uh, this one... Ooh, grenades, I'll take those. Alright. Little storage area. Somebody's old, broken down truck that nobody wants anymore. More storage. Okay. What's over here? Building number four! Oh man, health? We're killing it with health. We're just we're just walking past health back to this point. I, how did the game get so hard that I didn't think we could pass this level? And now it's like we seem to, it seems to be really easy. Poisoning Los Angeles municipal. Wait, we're in L.A. How are we in L.A.? Um. Okay, this would be a nice. Van if only there were guys to shoot and kill. That would be something. Instead, nothing is going on. Okay, so back. Down. So are there any farm buildings? There's got to be farm buildings we haven't looked at yet. Okay, so we went through that one. Went through that one. 
Is it the silo? Is that what you consider a farm? I don't think you can get in the silo. There's only like one building left over here. So I guess we'll investigate this one. There's another storage depot area. Building with nothing of interest. Okay, so it's got to be this building over here, I guess, that they want you to explore. I don't know if we saw that room on the inside. So let's, uh, how do we get in this building here? All right, here we go. Uh, investigating. This seems long abandoned. Seems like nobody, definitely nobody's living here. Oh, wait, we were in here. What, what am I supposed to do? I'm so confused. Can we just blow stuff up? There we go. Not doing anything? I'm supposed to sit on the couch here? Oh wait, the computer? Is this it? Destroy the computer? Oh, you destroyed a list of CIA front companies. And that... That's the secondary objective. Okay. Uh... Oh wait, I, I somehow am walking upstairs. I didn't even see this because the screen was so dark. Oh, there's a whole second floor up here. I need to turn, like, the brightness on my TV up or something. More medical supplies. Again, which are not needed, but appreciated. More stairs. Okay. Ah, here's... Oh, more medical supplies, even. Full of grenades. You found details of bank accounts in Zurich. How dare they? All right, the enemy is advancing. Good. I'm up for a fight. Oh, look at them all. Here, you know what? Have some grenades. Oh, yeah. Here, you know what? Is that explosive? Yes, it is! Oh, a guy ran in here. What the heck? Okay, you dick shooting me in the back. He, like, knew right where to go, too. It's like he'd been to this farm before. Okay, that guy's probably dead. I didn't see him die, but... I'm willing to believe he's probably dead. Oh, he's still alive, you jerk. You jerk. Can't reveal yourself. Okay, I think he's dead now. I don't know. I I can't tell when they're dying. Oh, hello. I, how did I know some jerk was going to come up, try and kill me? Just had a, had a good hunch about it, I guess. All right. I guess I'll use a medical pack because I got spares. Just pick these up, pick up the extra grenades. Oh, I like all the bullet shells from where I was firing. That's kind of cool. You know, when I saw this farm, I figured there's so many explosive things, I shouldn't just blow them up willy-nilly because I'm sure guys will show up and then I'll have to, uh, like, blow them up to kill them. Oh, there's still a guy over there. How did he survive that? You are one lucky Chechen. Get back over here. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Okay, he got by me. Oh, wait, there he is. He didn't go very far. There we go. Okay, I can't tell if there's anyone else. Clear out all buildings. Ten different targets. Alright. We'll get them. We'll get them all. So there's health up here, which we don't need. There was health in, like, another building, too. So I have three health packs, and I know where to get more if I need them. Okay. Scratch one. We're down to nine dudes. All right, who else wants some? Okay, I hear gunfire. Where'd that come from? Again, radar would be really helpful. Oh, there's a guy in here. There you go, buddy. Drive that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what happened? What happened? I didn't... There, there, somebody was storing TNT in there. Oh, look at this guy. He's, like, crumpled up in the corner. Oh, my God. I think half his face is blown off or something. Hard to tell in the dark. Again, it, the game's quite dark on my screen. I'll have to try and remember to brighten this up a bit when I edit it. Hopefully, it's not dark for you guys. If it is, I forgot. I'm sorry. If it isn't, I remembered. You're welcome. See, I got... I, I cover both angles. 
There we go. Buildings two of five clear. Anyone back here? Anyone hiding in the woods who wants some? No? All right. Shouldn't be wasting ammo, actually. I only have like 88 shots left, which... <laughs> Wait, do I have any shots on my other gun? I only have eight, oh, 20 bullets. Uh oh We're running out of ammo real fast. There's the extra health pack. So we got that at least. I should go and pick up ammo off these guys. I killed a bunch of guys out here. Yeah, there we go. There's like health and bullets just lying around. Okay, wait. Somebody's shooting at me. Seriously, where is that coming from? It's probably in there. <laughs> you jerks. You guys suck, by the way. You're like opening fire on me and not like not hitting me at all. But you also didn't really reveal your position, so I don't know. I guess it was strategic. It scared me, at least. Okay, we've cleared three of the buildings? How is there more buildings that are not clear? I guess we never went into this one? I'd be shot. Oh, there's a guy in here. Why are these guys just sitting around in various buildings, like, doing nothing? They're like, hey, I think he's going around killing everyone building to building. Should we swarm him? Nah, let's just protect our individual building. You know, because we're supposed to. It's the thing. We were charged with guarding the old dried fruit supplies of this storeroom. Damn it, we're going to do it. Okay, so there's one building left. And I have no idea which one I have not cleared. So wait, we've done that one. And we did that one. We did that one. Wait, and we did that one? Or that one? No, wait. We went into this one, but we never went upstairs. I'll bet dollars to donuts that there's somebody hanging around up these stairs. Yeah, I hear him already. The jerk. There you go. There you go. You know what? Here. Take a grenade, man. <laughs> Surprisingly, that did not destroy the stairs, which I thought it might. Alright, here we go. Oh, the level's over. I was gonna say, we're up in, like, the sniper tower. Now we can, like, really take guys out as they, like, try and swarm us, but we're done. Well, that was level two. Um, as I say, these levels are way longer than I thought, so I think what we're gonna do is load up one more level on easy. Um, and I guess I'll sort of, like, wrap up my thoughts at that point. Nazran Town Normal. Oh, uh, let's... Oh, I, could, I beat that. Okay. No, what's the next level here? In black. Game about a guy with a severe gun fetish. Oh, Nazran Town. Okay. And we're going to do it uneasy because we're pansies. Oh, yeah. And then the unskippable cutscene. Oh, why are these unskippable? Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Nazran Town. 8.42 in the morning. So I guess some levels are kind of urban, like we saw in the very opening level. But there's also a lot of levels that are sort of in these, uh, you know, like broken down kind of European villages and stuff. The guns are kind of cool, but um, they don't feel as, like, different as I think I was thinking. So this game is kind of interesting, like, for its time. Oh, shoot, snipers. Burger on my point. Um, Shooter knows what he's doing. Keep your head down. Where is he, though? He's, like, right there. Anyway, um, for its time, this game was rather ambitious, I think. Um, but then at the same time, I kind of feel like it's not as good as I want it to be, you know? Like... For its time, I would say this is a very decent first-person shooter. I don't know if it holds up as well as I would have liked it to. Um, I think it feels a little more dated than, uh, than you know... Oh, look at all this stuff. It feels a little more dated than I would want. Ooh, sniper rifle. Hold on. We are totally picking this up. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, we're going to snipe some guys here. Headstones? How about I take out the guys? It's more fun. Any other dudes? Boom. It's 
Pretty fun. Hold on. Snipe this guy too. Where are ya? Oh man, he's like... He's smart. He's like running through the headstones. Oh, you dick. Surprisingly, this gun has like no recoil and is like really stable. Um, I will take out this guy. Oops. This guy. And then... First... I cannot see these guys. Anyway, okay, I'm like getting sucked into this. Um, this is like a solid first person shooter for its time, but I think, um, you know, knowing that this game was by the developers of, um, you know, Burnout, I think I was hoping that this game would feel more stylized, it would feel faster paced, and, um, you know, it's, it's fine to make sort of a realistic style shooter, but I feel like the shooting mechanics don't stand out to me as, like, particularly strong. Like, they just feel, like, normal. Um, and so... You know, like, as someone who played a lot of first-person shooter Halo on the Xbox, I guess I would kind of ask myself, like, what is what would make me want to play this game instead of, you know, like, a really strong go-to game like Halo? And I'm not sure that I'm seeing it yet. So, like, in terms of uh, this game being, like, a decent game, I think, yeah, it is. You know, like, it, it seems fine. But in terms of this game being a game that sort of pulled me in with sort of something unique, I'm not quite seeing it. And I think I saw the potential for it. But, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. You know what? If this is a game that you uh, grew up playing or you did play and you have, like, fond memories and, you know, you, you can explain to me what was cool about it, I'm all ears. Please feel free to leave me a comment down below. As for everyone else at the moment, I think I would say that, like, if you are in the market for, like, a first-person shooter on the original Xbox that you probably haven't tried, this game probably fits the bill, and I could easily see myself suggesting it. But in terms of this game being, like, you know, a standout shooter that, like, if you haven't played it, you really need to check it out, I don't know if I see that. So, all things considered, I don't know if this is a game that you must play before you die, but it's a, it's still a solid game. And, uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. What do you guys think about uh, Black here? Is it a game, again, that uh, you've played and that... You know, you, you really like uh, some of the things it does that are quite unique. Or is it a game that you're not after seeing today? You're sort of like, yeah, it's an Xbox shooter from the original Xbox. But, uh, you know, it's pretty much par for what you would expect. Uh, let me know in the comments down below one way or the other. I always enjoy hearing your guys' opinions on these games. And as always, whatever you think of the game, hopefully today has been somewhat entertaining. Thanks for sticking around with me while I uh, went on my little mission here and, uh, you know... Uh, Eastern Europe, killing lots of random soldiers. I never did find that RV, by the way. I don't know what was going on with that mission. But, uh, anyway, yes, if you have enjoyed today's video, um, hopefully you'll be back soon for another game. Um, because, uh, you know, we got plenty more games to play in this ongoing quest of, uh, the Thousand One Games Just Play Before You Die book. So, the, the screen's even turning black and white. Here we go. Oh, this is what sort of it looks like when you're about to die. Cool. Alright, I, I wanted to see this the whole video. We finally got to see it. Um, anyway, guys, until next time, you all take care of yourselves, and uh, thanks for being with me on this one. We'll see you soon. Peace.